was dark. You know, like after the time changed, now it gets darker earlier and stuff like that. I didn't realize that when I sat down to film. I should have filmed a lot earlier in the day, but I didn't. And then it got really dark. I don't know if you can tell, but it's super dark in this room. So I'm so sorry that the lighting is so dark. It started getting darker towards like the middle end of the tutorial. So I'm so sorry. But today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the makeup look I'm wearing right now and it is using the Makeup Geek Vegas Lights Palette. I'm trying to take your requests into consideration and when I posted that huge like Makeup Geek collection video, I got tons of requests to do uh, a look using the Vegas Lights Palette. So that is what I'm doing today and I know, I know, I keep saying this, but I know you guys requested the look that I was wearing in that video, like in my Makeup Geek video, and I tried to recreate it last night and it was totally off. I remember the eyeshadows I used, but I don't remember how like I placed them and stuff like that. So it didn't look the same. That's why there wasn't a video Wednesday morning. like midnight when I usually post because that video did not turn out the way it was supposed to but yeah I, I will try again I will try again anyway side note I know that some of you are like how come your bloops are not in all your videos and stuff like that sometimes I don't have bloopers like sometimes things go smoothly and I don't have bloopers and I don't want to make up bloopers like, I don't want to sit there I pretend like I have a bunch of bloopers when I don't. So I only add the bloops when the bloops happen. Sometimes the bloops don't happen. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I know this is very me. This is very warm. I do looks like this all the time. Oh, you do the same looks all the time. But it was requested to use this palette and this palette is very warm. So that's why it's another warm eyeshadowy look because it's using the palette that was requested to use. So don't be mad at me. Uh, I am going to be posting like a silver black smoky eye soon. A lot more cooler tone looks. I know I keep saying that, but seriously, they're in the works. Anyway, if you want to see how to get this new, just keep watching. Okay, so you guys know I always start off with my eyebrows already painted. I have an eyebrow tutorial up on my channel if you're interested. But the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to prime my eyelids and I am using the LA Girls Pro Primer. You can get LA Girls at drugstore.com. I love this primer, it's actually really good and it masks the veins on my eyelids. I'm gonna take the Vegas Lights palette and the first eyeshadow I'm using is Desert Sands. It's probably one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's beautiful, it's like a vomity kind of brown, it's amazing. So I'm just adding that color into my crease, kind of like a transition shade, but I'm, I was pretty much putting it everywhere. I'm taking um, this eyeshadow called Roulette and then I get excited because it's so pigmented, like it's crazy pigmented. Roulette is a beautiful like reddish, coppery, burgundy, I don't know, it's gorgeous. And I'm using my e.l.f. $1 brush, which is actually pretty good if you ask me. So I'm just packing that on my entire lid right up to the crease. Then I'm going to take this fluffy brush, this is a Morphe brush, and I'm dipping it back into that desert sands color and I'm going to rub this back and forth into my crease and what this is going to do is going to blend the roulette shade and kind of help it melt into the desert sand shades a little bit. Now this look doesn't require Fix Plus, um, but I just wanted to add just a little bit to intensify it just a little bit more. This eyeshadow is very pigmented on its own, but I just added a little bit of Fix Plus to add a little bit of pizzazz. Then with this Eco Tools brush, I'm taking the fluffy side because it's a dual ended brush and I'm going to dip it right back into Desert Sands and I'm just going to start packing this into my crease. I'm using a smaller crease brush to make it a little bit more precise in the crease. Then I'm going to take Mirage and this is going to be my brow bone highlight. This color is so pigmented, I love it. Then I'm going to take a little wipe and I'm going to clean up the edges like I usually do. Make it a little bit sharp at the edges. You could always use tape, but I just clean it. I'm going to take this Stila eyeliner in the shade Damsel, I believe, and I'm going to tight line with this, and I'm going to use this as my water on my waterline as well. This is just a brown eyeliner. Then I'm going to take the pigment called Liquid Gold. This is also from Makeup Geek. This is a super intense green gold pigment, like really intense, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner, kind of like in a little triangle shape. Kind of make it like sharp. Does that make sense? Well, you see it. It's like a little triangle. And then I'm going to add a flick to the outer part of my eye. Kind of like where you would normally put eyeliner. 
just a little bit different, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm not very good at explaining, but you can see here. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner and just add a little flick. You guys know every time I try to do my eyeliner on camera, I get way too close to the mirror and then I get out of frame. But here I'm just priming my face uh, before I finish up my eyes and I'm using my Cover FX Calming Primer to do that. Then I'm gonna put on some foundation and I forgot to show it to you. This is the <laughs> Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in the shade 40. And I love this foundation. It's definitely one of my favorite drugstore foundations. And I'm just gonna buff that all over my face using a Zoeva brush. Then I'm going to add some under eye concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Fair. And I'm just adding like that triangle shape to highlight as well. To further highlight, I am taking the Maybelline Magic Lumi Pen. I believe that's what it's called. Magic Lumi Pen. And I'm just going to highlight my face even more on my nose, my forehead, around my mouth. You know, the places where you would normally highlight. And then I'm just going to blend that out with the same foundation brush. I'm actually going to take this product right here. This is the NARS Contour Powder in Paloma. And it also comes with like a highlight shade that's completely matte. So I'm going to take that highlight shade and I'm going to set my under eye concealer with this. Thank you to everyone who said that this brush was perfect for setting my under eye concealer. Because I was like, oh, I don't like this brush. It's too little for blush. But you guys were like, no, I used that brush to set my under eye concealer. And it works great. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. And you guys are the best. I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones with this MAC cream colored base in the shade Pearl and I'm just using my fingers to stipple this on my face because it is a cream product. Going back to finish off my eyes, I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm taking that Bada Bing shade with the other side of that Eco Tools brush and I'm just applying it to my lower lash line to deepen out the look and make it smokier and then I'm going to take Desert Sands and further smoke it out. Then I'm going to add some bottom mascara, well, mascara to my bottom lashes, and I use the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take that same NARS Paloma um, contour powder, and then I'm going to contour my face. And this is a Zoeva, let me grab it. It is a Zoeva 101 brush, and that is what I'm using to contour my face. By the way, I also added mascara to my top lashes and I forgot to record that, but I used the MAC In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara. I'm trying to give my lashes a break from falsies for a little while. Let's see how long that lasts, but I've been on a no falsies kick for a while now. Well, like a couple weeks. The blush I'm using is this NYX blush in terracotta. It's become a new obsession. I love it. It's a nice, bronzy, warm, beautiful, peachy, amazing blush. Then to finish off my look, I'm going to take this Girlactic lipstick in the shade Naked and I'm just going to stamp this on my lips a little bit just so not that much pigment comes off, just as a base color. And then I'm going to take this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cairo and I'm just going to put this on top and it's going to make it even more nude. Cairo by itself is a little bit too nude so I like adding the lipstick with it. It's a nice little combo. Okay guys, so that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!